Welcome to Letty Does Iron Fist! In the last episode, Danny discovers that the pier that the Rand Corporation sold to the hand is being used to transport synthetic drugs into the city. And after trying to solve it with Ward and trying to get him to take back the pier, Ward doesn't help him out. So Danny decides to take matters into his own hands and asks Colleen for help in... Well, I guess he just wanted to go see or get evidence of what was going on but in the process things go a bit sideways when Danny gets stuck inside one of the trucks and actually discovers that the hand has kidnapped a chemist and he is making the synthetic heroin but yeah pretty much Danny tries to save him he ends up being stabbed in the chest but saved by Claire with a credit card and now Danny has to go and save the chemist's daughter that the hand is holding as blackmail or against the will for the chemist to cooperate. So, <laughs> yeah, that was what it's left off on. So, with Danny and Colleen on their newfound mission to, I guess, destroy the hand, uh, you know, they're gonna need help or something, or maybe they just decide to do it by themselves, but yeah, at least they got Claire, in case they're dying and can come back. But Madame Gao was not happy with losing the chemist, and pretty much just straight up skewered the guy that was supposed to be watching him. So, with Madame Gao now showing how ruthless she could be, I wonder how that's going to come into play and if we're going to get some cool fight scenes. So that's something I'm going to be looking forward to. Iron Fist, Season 1, Episode 6, Immortal Emerges from Cave. Let's get started. Because of who you are, there will always be forces. Ah, two you. lights. Ha ha ha. Wait. What the fuck? Uh, a weakness in you. No, that's not oh, what I want to see. Slipping. Why are these guys so calm? Is it- are these guys a part of the hand too? Well, if they're not, they're ready. Well, it doesn't like- like there's any dead bodies, so that's a plus. Mmm. Okay. Tranchless. She has quite a collection of drawings there. Department of <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but this is hilarious. What the fuck? This is so awkward. Uh Okay, awesome. Awesome. Tokyo Ema. <laughs> and this is why I told What the fuck is going on? Well, I mean, sometimes doubt could lead to life. Like if you doubt it's okay to eat something or not, and then you don't eat it, and it ends up being poisonous. Yeah. <laughs> or like whether you'll doubt you'll make it if you cross the street and you decide not to cross. Lord, what is wrong with you? You go from one extreme to another. Yes, sir. Please, it's Danny. Oh, I like their relationship. She seems to really like him. Like, oh, Danny's cool. He's a little weird, but he's cool. Meetings at four. You handle it. Well then. I'm going with you. You will be back here on time. Whatever, Dad. 
Don't even Your dad's dead! <laughs> I was half expecting that, I don't know why. That's your and this? Yeah. Oh I was raised by monks, and you know, I gave up whatever worldly possessions I have, but get into my sports car. And he learned how to drive and like you know, did all his stuff really fast. Like he got his driver's license really fast. How has he not gone into shock from all the blood loss? It's not like she has an IV on her. She just was going to Colleen to work out. I'm still surprised Claire carries all this medical shit around with her. Oh, Danny. You are not. That is not an inconspicuous vehicle, Danny. Nothing. You can stay in the car if you want. I'm not stopping. You could be a pussy if you want. Oh, shit. Holy it's that guy. And stop me. They killed him. And they left a note. Is that what that is? It's for me only. And he's just like, the meeting. <laughs> John. The grand duel. The hands version of a challenge. They're best fighters against me. If I defeat them, they'll meet my demands. All of their fighters against Danny? That's not very fair. The only way, there's a little thing called notifying the police. Okay, Claire of all people should know that that doesn't necessarily work. So you're saying I have more experience fighting the hands? Hmm, yeah. <laughs> Poor Claire. I'm the Iron Fist. And that's supposed to mean... How does that make sense? <laughs> Well, I guess he is in turn preparing. Oh, shit. Um, defending Gun from the hand by defeating them in New York. His sister is gonna think that he's tripping out on drugs or something. And Megan's just like, that's why I like Danny more. Failure fruit. Fine failure fruit. Which is its own sort of success. No, it's a beautiful thing. So let's build on that. The greatest thing that ever happened to Rand was the day Danny walked back through the door. And he's just like, well, I wouldn't say that. Oh, both of them are very upset. He promises her? Touched by fire. <gasps> oh, it is! Our greatest warrior. <gasps> it's Lake Kong! And Claire's just like, um... She's like, I'm really bad at talking. <laughs> Did he just die? Oh yeah, we haven't gotten any backstory of her in the show yet. She has dad abandonment issues. Does Danny have to go down that well? Because that's really suspicious. <laughs> Madam Gal's just like, your terms are bullshit. That is a big bet to wager. 
What is he doing? I don't think I follow. Well, I guess you gotta start a fight with clean hands. Okay, so first the two brothers, I think they are. Maybe they're just friends. You're that rich kid that everybody thought was dead. Okay. He doesn't have a secret identity. And he just goes around telling everyone he's Danny Rand. That's a bit dangerous, don't you think? Huh? We are one. Ooh, um, I don't. Uh, ha who? What? They cut very deep. And how are they only one? I. What? Must be a double-edged sword. We get to see his face. He just slapped that guy in the face. Double-edged sword right there. So you know how to fight. Whether no shit, the Sherlock. It was the real you are a living weapon. Drive all other thoughts out of your mind except this. So does he just have a connection with Lee Kung or is it that he's like you know, my just a mildly schizophrenic and imagining him when when he needs his help. Just drag his ass out of the circle, Danny. Or he'll drag himself out of the circle. That's cool too. So how does this work, Madam Gao? Best two out of three, are we? <laughs> Maybe there's a point system per hit, you know? Oh! The old co-worker from Daredevil Season 2. You heard I was on the floor. I've been here 30 seconds. I thought she quit. And your next challenge is finding your way out of this here maze! We put drapes everywhere to confuse you. Yeah. I don't. Can you I sense don't. my confusion? Um. Or maybe. Oh! Oh, I, I think I know who this is. Oh, I, I don't remember her name, but I think she's the lady from Spider Island. Danny, why, why you gotta go soft on her? Oh my gosh, so many. This dude's gonna look like a cactus by the time she's done. Uh, she talks a lot. Reject for huh. What the fuck did he just do? How did he do that? He dispelled all of them at once? The second battle is won. That's all it took? A kick in the face? That's it? Madam Gal's just like, mm, this motherfucker. <laughs> Always gotta make things so complicated. This dude just keeps getting smoother and smoother. Well, you know, it's it's things like that that don't get anyone to like you, Ward. Oh man. 
I actually kind of feel bad for him. depressed and he was abusing his drugs but he just saw a dead person like whatever his dad was doing he said he didn't want a part of it but like oh my god they delivered him to the hand claire's old co-worker just betrayed her. I'm thinking maybe I'll let you handle this. I got this. Colleen's just like, I've been waiting all episode for this. Oh, brutal. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. Woo. She's just like, I felt good. That was fun. Sweet Christmas! <laughs> we know who she's been hanging out with! Choose to face the dragon inside. Know that you risk everything. I want him to and face the real dragon that we've all been waiting for and we haven't seen. You know the one that gave him his powers? You choose. Danny Rand died a long time ago. He's just not going to answer now. And one thing only. Is this guy wearing body armor? Come on, dude. Be, used by them Be fair. Disappoint your master. <laughs> so, we're not going to get more backstory on this dude and why he killed that room filled with people. Who do you serve? Strategy number 27. Just run away! <laughs> Didn't Madame Gal lock the door? Alright, dude. Now you're about to see who has the real weapon. I still think it's pretty cool that they give us these parkour shots. Just so we can see them do stuff. Ooh, I thought he was a bash about to bash that guy's skull in. Matter Gals was like, okay, I'm leaving. That's dishonorable. What do I care for honor? Your purpose. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to fuck. You belong to me. And I command you. Just say that you withdraw from the duel and then beat the fuck out of everyone. She doesn't care about honor anyway, right? Why would you choose to leave heaven? Madam Cow dreams. My reason. Something I thought your father Wendo could use more of. Ooh, she knew saying? his father? Or she's just bullshitting, you know, cause he's a Rand. <laughs> Okay, sometimes they have her as this weak little old woman who's scared of the Punisher, and then sometimes she can fucking force push someone. Watch the girl, Danny. Watch the girl, Danny. That's it? Dang, okay, it ended. 
Alright, so it seemed like this episode was full of disappointment. And I don't say I'm disappointed by it. I mean, Claire and Colleen were disappointed to find out that Radovan had been taken. And, you know, of course, um, Danny's avatar master, uh, Lei Kung, was disappointed in Danny for not fulfilling his purpose. You know, having a conscience. But, you know, whatever. That aside, he's the Iron Fist. It's all good. <laughs> Madam Gowl was the only one that was not disappointed with his performance. And, you know, then you have Ward, who is somewhere between the line of losing his mind because he is now dependent on drugs, or losing his mind because he saw a dead body. It's like, meh, either way, he's just getting progressively worse. So, you know, didn't see too much about how Joy reacted to that, other than her just going, yep, Ward's <laughs> losing it. So, I don't know how they're going to handle that, because if he's the one continuously saying that Danny isn't fit to run the company, um, some weird suicidal drug dependent guy isn't really fit to run the company either, so... Guess that means it's Joy alone. The secretary lady can run the company. She's nice. She seems like she knows what she's doing. She probably knows how it works, too. Because no one's there. <laughs> and no one's going to be there. Because Danny's gone. And Ward's mind has officially left the building. So I don't even know why they brought up Ren Enterprises this episode. But... Yeah, I hope that Claire sticks around a lot more. Um, <laughs> we got Sweet Christmas! Sweet Christmas! That was great. I love that little spoof that they had in there. But, yeah, I wonder how Colleen is going to react when Danny comes back and, you know, maybe they'll talk about how he failed his trial. But I guess he's committed himself to being the Iron Fist. I don't even know what's up with Danny. He seems very conflicted amongst himself. So I'll just have to wait until the next episode to see exactly what the fuck the hand is planning and just what the fuck is going on. So yeah, thank you so much for liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Hey everyone! Just caught this Mimikyu over here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking that circle button up there. Or you can check out some more of my videos along here. I also have a Patreon set up that you can find by clicking that square button down there. See ya. Mimikyu, you shadow ball!